back to the stream. Today is the Shrekiverse and tomorrow is the Shrekiverse. So we've got two days back to back of being in the Shrekiverse, but these two days are gonna have very different vibes. Originally, today was supposed to be Reba's day. Today we were supposed to be starting in the underworld with Reba, but that is going to be tomorrow. And I'll tell you why. Today's is going to be chaos because my day was chaotic. So that means my Sims day is about to be chaotic. So we'll be starting in the swamp instead today. Here's what the hell happened with my day. My brother needed a co-signer for him to get a car because his car, basically everything off of it got stolen. So he needed to be able to get to work. He's having a crisis, whatever. So he needed a co-signer for him to get a car. So we had an appointment at 3 p.m. For us to go get him a car. Um, I just got home four minutes before the stream started. So I had four minutes to run in, change my pants into comfy pants, take my bra off, grab a drink, find a song. I had to go with something easy, okay? Pierce the veil, obviously. So came in here, load, turned on to click into my game. It said there's an update. An update. Now, luckily, I think it was a small update because it didn't make me return all my mods. I've just had a chaotic day. And so today can't be our serious Shrekiverse day. Tomorrow is going to be the day shit goes down in the Shrekiverse. Today is about to be chaos because we are about to start in the uh, swamp first. Um, let me put my phone on. Do not disturb because bitches do be disturbing. So here's my idea. Um, first of all, I think... That Shrek needs a brother. It just occurred to me, where the f*** are his brothers at? Hey, brother. Uh, what's that song? Hey, brother. Mumford and Sons. Is it hello, brother? Mm -hmm. You can tell that I've been sitting in a chair all day because my ADHD is like going like, boom, 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 like a pinball in my head right now. A vissy. Why do I think Mumford and Sons? Why do I think Mumford and Sons? god well i think shrek needs a brother don't y'all concur concur means agree concur i concur i don't cur oh, don't care like don't care we are going to give shrek a <gasps> don't delete shrek cancel don't delete shrek please so what we need to do come down here add a sim we're gonna do play with genetics Oh, his name's Carl. I don't want this one. I don't want this one. Okay, randomize. Oh, wait, this is supposed to be his child. Oof, glad we ain't had that, maybe. Okay, sibling. Create his sibling. Would Shrek be the older brother or the younger one? I don't know. We have to create, uh, we have to create the lore as we go. We don't know where this fella came from. Let's randomize brother. It's look. No, that's not it yet. I'll know it when I see- Carl! I just got rid of you, Carl! None of these are calling to me. What in the Michael Jackson meets Shrek is going on here? Absolutely not. This is like all the different squids. I don't know what exactly I'm looking for here, but I just haven't seen the right- His brother hasn't called to me yet. This is closer to what I want, but not quite. Snarl! <laughs> not Snarl! Should I bring back Carl? Because now he's kind of growing on me. Now Carl's kind of growing on me. But now it means he's going to have to have two brothers. Because I don't want Carl to be the only one. I kind of want him to have like a hillbilly brother. So I guess we'll have Snarl. Snarl, you're in. First, we'll have Snarl, and then, so is Snarl younger or older? I can't see the poll. Y'all tell me what the poll said. Tell me what the poll said. We've got, uh, Shrek, and then we have Snarl! <laughs> oh, the Sims gives me too much power. Uh, thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Miss McGee. Thank you, Cousy. Thank you, Anna Banana. Um, let's create his sibling. Snarl older than do younger. Can we revote now that it's Snarl? 
<laughs> Snarl older, the other bro younger. I could agree. I could agree. Dang, I wanted him to have a hot brother. I'm imagining kind of like a himbo redneck for his brother. That is not what I asked for. You're groovy. It's like Prince Charming and Shrek put together. Charming. <laughs> Paul said younger. Huh. Well, I feel like now we should do one older, one younger. You know what I mean? Let's randomize his brother. How about Shrek having a little sister too? I don't want to give him a sister at this time. I do like the idea. Um. No. You're not it yet. There we go! Finally! Okay, now I am gonna mess with him a little bit. I am going to make him somewhat... No, I want you to be bigger than that. Yeah, we want him... We want him strong. Big ogre. I need to see you without a shirt on to know what I'm doing here. Yes, big beastie ogre man. Thick thighs. Big boy. Yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Um. Like a big Hulk. <laughs> I'm loving this. It's all coming together. Mm -mm. Snarl Shrek and Shadius Shrock. <laughs> Let me get him some. Where are the jorts at? We are definitely putting jorts on this man for sure. Um, you know, you never know what you're gonna get with my content. Are you gonna cry, or are you going to be severely confused, or are you going to be laughing that night? You never know. And it's all one storyline. You never diddly darn know. He's a red flag, but I'm into it. <laughs> Which cowboy boots suit you the best? We're all three. <laughs> We're all three in one night, literally. Um, I mean, those look pretty. I almost feel like he needs a wife beater, to be honest. Like, is this better? He's giving raise hell, eat cornbread vibes. Charmin Ultra Strong. Shrock for sure. Shrock. We've got, oh wait, I think he needs a C. Oh my god, Shrock like cock. Um, Death need a cowboy hat. I don't know if I want the mullet covered up though. It's so fabulous. I'll see what the cowboy hat looks like. Mm. Is that my only cowboy hat? I feel like there was more. I feel like there was... I mean, there's... I'm gonna be honest, he doesn't give sexy cowboy to me. Uh, -huh. uh not it taking his... Why does that make him have no hair? Why does that hat make his hair disappear? Oh, weird. Does a mullet come in greens? Well, he has red hair, apparently. There is a green... <coughs> the girth. There is a green and blue. I kind of like this one, though. Well, now that I see it again... I don't know. Hold on. Let me... Oh! Ooh! Get a little sprite head. Wow! Don't forget the ogre ears. True. Where the hell are my ogre ears? I don't even know where those things are. Hmm. Hmm. He definitely needs some little earrings. Yeah. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. Yes! Yes! This is what I want! Okay. Um, tattoo Tattoos. Thank you, Amanda, for the Franktastic. Um, because we're all a bunch of weenies. Um, skin tone, skin details. You could use some freckles. A light freckling, perhaps. Um, 
I don't know what that did. Um, what am I looking for? Oh, tattoos. 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 Let's see. Thank you, Unicorn Brides, for the living buddy. Thank you, Chrissy, for the high bears. Let's do... I need more tattoos. I need to remind myself tomorrow to download more CC tattoos. What's this? Whoa, that's so many tattoos. You know what? That's probably good. Or you could do them individually, but... Yeah, fuck it. Do them all. Do them all. Yeah. Hell yeah, brother. You look. Does he look? Are this is that too many tattoos for the look? Actually, now that I'm looking at it, is that too many? Oh my god! Oh my lord! No wonder the witch. That was crazy. Thank you, Megan. Also, thank you, Tommy, for the heart. Me, thank you, Emily, for the team bracelets. I'm not sure. We might need to do. Hold on. Let me take off the tattoos. Perhaps, oh, the tramp stamp, for sure. Thank you, Phoenix. Maybe I'll do a few less tattoos, because I almost feel like it's distracting from the rest of what the fuck I have going on. If he, Oh, the butterfly, yes. Thank you, Jenny, for the game controller. Let's do, what's this? Ooh, no, I do like this on him. I think that's good. That looks good, yes. Um, Cutie patootie. Why does it say he's a... Okay, we don't want him as a teen. Young adult, please. Is... What's your name? Snarl. We need to age you up to a young adult, too. I can't believe he was just a teenager. He looked at least 45 years old. Um, Hulk Shrogan. I want Pete Davidson level tattoos. Oh my god, Pete Davidson is so unintentionally fine. Um, Shrek ears are in de skin details. Was it? I need that for sure. Um, skin detail. Wait, this isn't skin details. What am I? Oh, wait, skin details. Yes. Um, oh, we can do some chest freckles too. I love chest freckles. I don't know why, but I do. Um, also, these little hoes right here the chest and back, like little moly, the things, you know? I like that. I do um yeah let's give him some little stretch marks right there i guess it must be in skin details with the face uh face uh am i fucking stupid or where the fuck are these where are my shrek ears oh they're right there Hell yeah, brother! Now I gotta add him in for every occasion. Um, formal. You know, when I said this live was gonna be an hour and a half, I think I lied. I think it's definitely gonna be two hours long. Uh, we're gonna change his outfit in a minute, but first let me just add in all these damn Shrek ears really quick. Hug me, brother! <laughs> I just got here. Who is this fine man? This is Shrek. This is, um, Shrek's brother. Now, are we going to make Shrek the younger brother or the older brother? I think Shrek should be the middle brother. So Shrek is either younger or older, and then Snarl is either younger or older. I get youngest brother from Shrek, to be honest. Um, in my opinion. <laughs> I don't know why whenever someone says, in my opinion, I immediately think that they're like, hella opinionated <laughs> like i feel like as soon as you hear someone say in my opinion and i say it a lot but then as soon as you say that then people are gonna think you just got hella opinions all the time but it's like maybe i just had this one opinion this one time but am i hella opinionated y'all i haven't even i haven't even bo blown bubbles today if you're wondering no this is just my fucking brain right now um Ogliana is gonna love him, girl! <laughs> Need a new goal. Oh, lordy. Oh, lordy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, we've got his ears on for every occasion. I'm gonna set a new goal really quick. Really, really quick. Thank you guys for achieving this second goal! So nice. Which one should I do? Let me look, let me look, let me look. Um, Obviously this one. 
for what we're doing right now. Obviously, this one. Um, so let me pick out the rest of his outfits really quick. Hey, man, I think Kendra. Oh my god, hell yeah, brother. Is my face big enough for it to show right now? It is. Me and Shrock. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Yeehaw. <laughs> I'm so unserious with this game. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Tay. Thank you, Megan. Thank you, Tess. Kendrick. Um, Lindsay. Unicorn Farts. Amanda for all achieving the goals so fast. And thank you, Kendrick, for the travel in the U.S. I'm gonna give it a minute before I set up another goal, but let's get his outfits done first. Um, his formal attire. Probably something real laid back. I'm gonna be honest with ya. Probably, or maybe it's like country, kind of like country-ish. Um, Snarl needs a soul patch. <laughs> Definitely not historically accurate. Tuxedo shirt. Um, 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 um. Maybe something along the lines of this. Do you have a green one? You have a blue. I guess blue would do. Um, yeah, just something that looks like shit like this. I feel like it's what he would wear. Thank you, Piss with you. Thank you, Alexis. Um, his athletic wear. Shirtless! And then, um, some sweaty pants, I guess, and his shoes. That's probably fine. His jammies. Uh, probably like that is cool. And then his partay wear. I don't know what the hell he's got on right now. Let's do... I feel like he's wearing something like this. Let's be real with ourselves right now. Hmm, maybe the blue. The blue feels like his vibe. What did I just come into? Who is this? Lil Cinnamon. We are giving Shrek two brothers. This is the first brother. We think that this is going to be his younger brother, Shrek. And then after I get them made, we're going to have a family reunion at the swamp so that everybody can meet Shrek and Snarl. I'm so diddly darn excited. Y'all just don't even realize. Um... Yeah, these dirty ass pants, it seems about right. Why do I fancy a green man? L, I've asked myself the same question, and I think it's because green is just such a fun color to look at. Now, is it anybody's favorite color? Not often. But do you like it? Like, do most people like, just enjoy the color green? Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's fine. Um, his hot weather wear. Let's do this number right here. <laughs> Green is my fave. Oh, Eva or is it Eva or Ava? I think it's Eva. Um, uh, her favorite color is green. It used to be my favorite color, and then I moved on to like pinky purplish dusk color. Um, as of late, let's see. When shorts do I want to put them in? Where's my jorts? There they are. There they are. Thank you, Charlotte, for the crystal shoe. Thank you so much. Uh, the dawn color. Yes, the dawn color. That, like, good little mix in there. You know what I'm talking about. Um, winter wear. What are we putting this man in for winter time? Let's see. All these look fucking not it. Hmm, I wonder what shoe size he is. I'm thinking a high up one. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Jenny, for the hanging lights. Um, oh, this, here we go, here we go, I knew the right thing would come along, uh, I'm feeling Shrock, I feel like he's got a lot of personality, and I'm really excited to see him in the shrek -averse. I present to you Shrock, thank you, Ashley, um, let's see, what's his thing, um, I think I'm gonna have it be, he wants to be like a jokester type person, um, or a party animal. This sim wants to throw and attend the most amazing parties. Excellent. His traits, I'm thinking this man is a little childish. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking he's a goofball, for sure. And then I'm also thinking he's a bro. Where, <coughs> the girth, a bro. Yeah. Shrock is coming to mix things up for real. <laughs> I think he agrees. <laughs> He's everyone's favorite uncle. 
Shrunkle. Mm -hmm. Please, he's my type. <laughs> unicorn farts. Oh my god, unicorn farts. Your sim is single. I'm so sorry, Mr. Farts. Um, but, you know. Get that man on Love Island. <laughs> oh my god, thank you, Alexis, for the hat and mustache. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Unicorn Fire says she is calling Shrock over. Um, now it is time to do Snarl. I'm going to set up a new goal really quick before I start on Snarl. Uh, what a goofy fun time. <laughs> I'm having so much fun with this live already. and We haven't even gotten into the family reunion. Also, Farquaad's going to poop out another baby tonight, just so y'all know. Because um, I want Granny Wolf to have like her whole little wolf pack. So we will be having more uh, babies uh, tonight specifically. Um, let's do the cat. It's so cute. We'll do that one. Um, more fork tots. <laughs> He's giving her a litter. No, literally, literally, literally giving her a litter. <sighs> Thank you, Lindsay, for all the gamer cats. Um, okay. Should Snarl stay bald or... He's blonde. Snarl is blonde. Wow. I don't know if Snarl should stay bald or have some hair. You can't have this mohawk because that's mohawk doctors. Snarl is bald. Bald. Everybody says Snarl is bald, so that's fine. Um, but I think if he's gonna be bald, his eyebrows should be a little bit more jarring to see. Um, oh, oh, okay, okay, yes, yes. Um, thank you, Jenny, thank you, Lindsay, thank you, Amanda, and Stephanie, and Piss McGee, and Unicorn Farts, thank you so much. Um, I think if he's gonna have a lip color, he might as well do a brighter one. Ooh, Ussy popping pink. Yes. Um, let's get Snarl. Um, thank you, Megan. I feel like Snarl is about to tell the Shreklerettes about themselves. Truly. I feel like Snarl is about to tell Sparkplug to get over herself. <laughs> Like, Snarl is gonna want to go drinking with Shrekunzel in her single era, era. Um, I feel like Snarl is not here to play. <laughs> Snarl would read me to filth! <laughs> um, yeah, I kind of like Snarl. Gunkle! <gasps> A gunkle?! <laughs> Um, let's see. What's Snarl wearing? Mm -hmm. None of these are calling to me, necessarily. Ears. Oh my god, the ears. Yes. Yes. Alright. Yes. <laughs> um, let me put his ears on for every outfit really quick. Uh, formal. Um... Um. Oh, he's so fabulous. Tell me why I love Snarl right now. I love Snarl and, uh, what the hell's the other one's name? I already forgot. Shrock. I was about to call him Shrunk. Um swimwear we need your ears i'm not dealing with people's bullshit with their ears this time y'all better show up in your ears snarl slays um snarl looks like he'd yell at me for wearing white after labor day <laughs> actually he's giving that guy from the devil wears prada um so let's put him in some clothes I'm gonna take it off of masculine so I can maybe see something he'd want to wear. Uh, but I'm not sure. Maybe a sweater? Maybe, maybe Snarl would be into this. I don't want him to look like somebody's grandma, but you know. 
you know, I want something flattering for Snarl. Um, this is a little too childlike. You wear a crop top for sure. I'll test out a crop top. Do I have a crop top section? T-shirt, jacket. Okay, let me see. Not a little cutie petite. Okay. Okay. A crop top and white slacks. Okay, hold on. Mayo said hi. Hey. Did I miss much? Um, well, Shrek is going to have two brothers. That is the majority of what you've missed. Uh, we're getting them ready right- Okay, we, we need high-waisted. We need high-waisted. Um, get- Oh my god. First of all, Snarl, we're just gonna- No, I don't want you- I want you to be snatched like- I want to give you- We need- We need- Yeah. And you know, Snarl's got a bootay. Anywho, can you give me something hot? Oh, I need, uh, it's because I'm looking at masculine. Um, I was feeling any backwoods and boring office uh, as backstories for why we don't know them. Backwoods and boring office as backstories for why we don't know them. I don't, I don't know if they all came from the same swamp, you know what I mean? I'm not entirely sure why Shrek has never introdu introduced us to his brothers. Um, but I'm so excited that we are going to be, uh, meeting them now. Ooh, these are kind of groovy. Mm, 23 Me Swamp Edition. He would go with you to an unlimited mimosa brunch. Actually, yes. None of these pants are giving what I want to give. Here, can we do pants? And then, let's see... Mm. Oh, this is fabulous. I think I'm gonna do the white and green. Uh, should we do the brighter green or the darker green? Probably the... Hmm. Mm. I think the darker green. Yes. Um... Yes. Yes. Well, actually, I don't like those nails. Hold on. Not for a snarl. Yeah, it's better. Wow. Beautiful snarl. Okay, now let me just do... I'm going to probably just do some styled looks. Now it's time to do snarls. Is this a Shrek series or a side series? I mean, it's all one world, um, but I'm adding him to Shrek's household. That's so cute, right? We have Snarl and we have Shrek. Shrek's new brothers that we're bringing to the swamp. I'm so excited. Uh, oldest is femme and youngest is hyper mask. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Now that you think about it. And then there's a Shrek in the middle. There's a Shrek in the middle of his siblings. So, first there was Snarl, and then there was Shrek, and then there was Shrek. I'm deaf the Snarl of the family. <laughs> okay, if y'all, which one are you in your family? The Snarl, the Shrek, or the Shrek? <sighs> I'm gonna be honest. I'm somewhere between a Snarl and a Shrek, personally. But when I get drunk, I'm Shrek all the way. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so, um, oh, he needs traits. We still need traits for Snarl. I think Snarl's thing is also popularity, but I think he would be more of a, uh, like, friend of the world. Like, he wants to know people. But him and Doris are going to love each other. Let's make um, Snarl an insider. Um, a little snobby. Um, mm, I 
maybe not snobby, but maybe, well, what is the difference between high end? No, 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 no. Um, I think I'm going to go back to that first tab because I think I'm also going to make him um, an outgoing. Uh, flirty, dramatic. Okay, maybe flirty. That would be good, too. Let's do flirty. Or romantic. Yes, yeah, Snarl. Okay, so now we have Strock, Snarl, and Shrek. Um, Snarl could be how Doris met Shrek. Well, how Doris met Shrek, and this is in the, the book version. Well, I won't even spoil it. I won't even spoil it, but that's not how they met. Um, please let me be with Shrek. <laughs> I'm like, what are we doing? We're about to have a family reunion. Um, let me go ahead and save here. Let's go into here. I'm going to set up a new goal because y'all achieved the next goal so fast. Let's do... Oh, this is cute. We'll do this lock and key. I don't think I've done that one before. That's cute. Boop. I love this loading screen so much. So much. Um, oh my god, thank you, Megan. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, Unicorn Farts and Fritter Snitter. Uh, who is this? Oh, that's Farquifa? Farquifa girl, I didn't even recognize you over here. Y'all look ready to go camping. We've got Shrock here. Wait, did I set them up as like technical siblings? Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Jenny, Pips and Key, Amanda. Um, yes, they are all siblings. Good. Excellent. Perfect. Um, thank you, Lizzie. Oh my god, thank you, little cinnamon, for giving away 10 subs. Our sub queen, little cinnamon. The vibes are so good tonight. Someone is missing ears. Uh, yeah, it's fucking Shrek. He takes off his ears all the time. What the hell is he even in? This isn't even one of his outfits, and he's just wearing it. Shrek never wears his ears because he hates me. Um, Snarl already lost his ears. Snarl's right there. That was just Shrek. That was just Shrek. Thank you so much, Lil' Simon, for sending 10 subs. Uh, do they have the same last names? I believe so. Yeah, it's all Ogre. It's all ogre. Um, uh, thank you, Kamro. Thank you, Christy. So, Shrek is immediately... Look how fast Shrek is at swimming. We need to go ahead and plan a family reunion. Uh, thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Kamro. Uh, so that we can introduce our family to Snarl and Shrek. Um, and maybe we'll take them out to the bar or something. Why doesn't all the daughters have ears? They did not get the Shrek ears uh, inherited. Farquifa seems to thrive on the shock and rage of others. Is it time to admit that she likes mischief? Does Farquifa like mischief? We just got the swamp uncrowded. Um, hmm. Did I miss getting sent again? No, we still haven't been back to Ogliana's house yet. Uh, but we are getting the Cine cat. She likes drama. Yeah, past Farquifa did. Oh my god, thank you, Megan, for the Franktastic. I don't think she just likes mischief in general. I think she can be mischievous from time to time, as most people can. Um, of course, Snarl's in here chatting it up with uh, Farquifa immediately. Shrek, I need you to get out the pool so we can... Um, what, what's this little purple thing? He's sobering up. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That girl that is always paranoid likes mischief really really um let me see i feel like i'm missing it i feel like i'm missing it Okay, at an event, we can do a family reunion. Thank you, Stephanie. The host is going to be Shrek. Well, I guess Shrek and his wife, Cinderella. Um, and then we can invite people. I feel like this is not our whole family. So maybe let me just do it as a party. So thank you, Amanda, for giving away five subs. 
my bestie Amanda. I appreciate you, bitch. Respectfully. Um, house party? Yeah, we'll call it a house party. And the host will be Shrek and Cinderella. And then, well, I guess we'll make them all our hosts. Okay. And then, thank you, Aunt Jordy, for the rose. Um, go, Amanda. Yes, go, Amanda. <laughs> Let's go ahead and invite our family members. Um, we can only invite up to 15, which is kind of ass. Oh, my God. Thank you, Megan, for the enchanted guitar. That reminded me of the movie Coco. Coco Chanel. That movie's so good. Um, the first time I watched Coco, I was like, oh, my God. It was honestly, and there was some twists in there too that were really good. I love Encanto and um, Coco and Moana. All of those movies, like newer movies, are really good, actually. Um, why do I feel like I haven't seen a single family member yet? Am I just distracted or are we not literally? Let me start from the bottom. Do, do, do. Donkey, you're not technically in the family, so I'm not inviting you right this second. Um,. Coco Chanel mm -hmm. I sobbed right same uh Valentina why am I not seeing a we got this huge ass family and I haven't seen a single one of you hoes not one single one bizarre stethoscope there's stethoscope 15 is only a my spark plug and her kids. What are we playing tonight? We're playing The Sims 4, and we are playing in the shrek -averse this evening. Um, I just started drinking on an empty stomach, and tell me why my head is like, do-do-do-do. Um, okay, here's our family. Here's our family. Grimace, you're coming. Um, Farquaad, you're not coming. Jerrica, you're obviously not coming. You don't come to anything. Flynn's coming, Shilla's coming, Shrekunzel, um, they're already in the household, Sparkplug's coming, Snowshit's coming, um, he's already coming, he's already coming, Shrekly, I don't really care if you come or not, and then, thank you Unicorn Farts for giving away five subs, we love you Unicorn Farts, you just passed Sparkplug, I thought I clicked on Spark, I clicked on Sparkplug, um, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm focusing. Flynn's new favorite is Shrek. Yay, Unicorn Farts, right? Um, mm, a green alien. I would invite Mohawk Doctor, but it's a family reunion first. And then we'll take these boys out to the bar where, he'll, where they'll see other people. Um... Where's Doris? I guess she'll be higher up with the D's. I just feel like I'm barely seeing anybody. In There's Pat. Okay. Well, I'm not going to invite, like, the baby babies to this. Um, because we only have 15 spots. I am going to invite Ogliana. Um. Doris is hiding. <laughs> um, we'll invite Moki or Mochi. Um, it's kind of random who's getting invited to this, to be honest. There's not really, Matcha can come. Um, Marjorie over here with her, uh, fancy setup. Um. Mm, Kristoff, I suppose you can come. And where is Doris? Because Doris, are, oh my god, not you, Jessica Frost. Not Jessica Frost. Hexagon, you're staying home because I made Pascal stay home. Um, Granny Wolf, you can come. Just don't bring your whole litter with you. And Earwax, obviously you had to come. Doris has to come. We have one more spot. Cinderella's already coming. Hmm, who's getting my last spot? There are a lot more people in the family. I just don't know who is the most... Um, importantist. Uh, mm, let's do. Honestly, it's probably gonna be the first person I like see. I'm going through kind of fast, but I am reading them. 
you know, we ain't seen you in a while, Nyla Boone. While we're having a family reunion, Nyla Boone, you come too. Okay, great. And now at our house, um, we're going to have it now. Unicorn Farsi gets an invite. We'll see her at the bar sometime, but we're having a family reunion right now. I don't know who Nyla Boone is. Nyla Boone is from the original video that started the Shrekiverse being popular. Nyla Boone is, um... Technically, Doris's relative, I guess. Here comes Snowshit right here. Snowshit. Snowshit's invited. She's right here. Um, so she's like Doris's cousin or something, supposedly. But we know Doris's backstory, so I don't know that I believe that. Um, oh my god. Shrek? Shrek, what the hell? What are these outfits? Okay, you look cute. You look really cute. Um, and look, he's in his lemon dress! Doris's relative, allegedly. Yeah, literally. Thank you, Jenny, for the disco love. So, um, we are going to get, uh, Snarl to introduce himself to Snow Shit. Um, obviously. And then, oh my god, Flynn's burning up in the sun. Come inside, Flynn. Don't burn yourself up. And then Snarl's gonna introduce himself to Flynn and everything. There's baby Slipper Shits just sitting at the table. I do love that dress on him, right? Thank you, Elsa, for the rose. Nyla saw the swamp and Ian places stains that she was related to the only person not green. Look at this floating plate. Look at this freaking floating plate right now. Um, excuse me. Granny with the gold jumpsuit today. Oh, Granny. Granny, please. Granny. Girl, be so serious. She got away from the kids and immediately needed a bath immediately needed a bath Flynn needs a daylight ring for real she said I'm home she's asleep in the ba <laughs> granny she said let me show you what's good granny looks so sweet not in a tire she said I'm home she's literally falling asleep in the bathtub uh, far uh, uh, sh uh, I can't even say her name right now what's your name Farquifa uh, you look crazy good in that dress right now. Um, Snow, or Shitlet's here. There goes Nyla Boone. This is Nyla Boone. She is supposedly related to Doris, but I don't think that's true. But we'll do a friendly introduction with her. Look at Star- Oh! Flynn? That wasn't normal. That's an interesting magic trick. Do all spellcasters do that? Or just you? Who's this? Is that a uh, mochi in here? Cutie patootie. Farquifa is honestly so fine. She is. She is. Since when can Flynn do that? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Flynn pulling out the party tricks. He's like, I'm done hiding my vamp skills. Flynn, where is your mama? Where's your console? I don't know where she is. Did I not invite her? I don't know. Grimace is swimming in the fart pond. I love that. Absolutely. There goes Sparkplug. Hey, Sparkplug. She gives me so Miley Cyrus. Um, Uncle Kristoff is in here talking to Mochi, which it looks like Mochi's a little anxious. Um, uh, where is Doris? Great question. Where the frick is Doris? Oh, there's some people gathering outside. Uh, oh, there's Shrekunzel. Shrakunzel's a me listen, that's your uncle, girl. Don't forget, that's your uncle. Shrock is your uncle. D she's looking at him like, and I've never seen you before. Yeah, you know, we forgot Shrakunzel. Everyone knows the best time to out yourself as a vampire is a family reunion at a swamp. That dress? No, actually. Girl. You can tell she's single right now because... Uh, Ogliana, not related. It's fair game. Oh, and you can tell looking at her that she knows they're not- Look at both of them just, like, over here. She's over here talking to him. He's feeling a little hot out here. Alleged uncle. Allegedly. <laughs> they would slay together if they weren't related. Where's Galon? Probably at his house. Puss and Moose about to lose his chance. Yeah, I mean, he is pretty fine. I'm not gonna lie. Um, let's see what everybody else is doing. Um, 
Um, wow! Look at oh, our freaking stove. Let's, uh, uh, reset. Or, how is it? Repair? There we go. Isn't Ogwena with Volof? Yeah, she is. She's still dating Volof. Um, Stethi is in here talking to Sparkplug. It looks like- Oh, Stethi, you look good, girl. You look really good. Stethi always looks good, though. She reminds me a lot of Sparkplug in some ways, though. I feel like Stethi love. Why is she mad? Oh. And then they're hugging. And then they're hugging. Interesting. Very, um, interesting. Uncle Damon Shrock! He does give the Uncle Damon vibes. New family dynamic, jokesters. Cue the punchline, Farquifa uh, and Earwax just can't stop cracking each other up. It's always a hoot when these two are in the same room. Family members with the, okay, blah, 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 blah. Okay, interesting. Uh, Stethoscope's voice is my favorite. It is so cute, so cute. Everyone looks like they're having a great time. Like a great time, Granny. Why is everybody talking about Granny right now? What's she do? Why is everybody freaking out about Granny? Why is everybody what? Flynn! Oh my God, he just learned this bat trick, and now he has to keep doing it. Now he has to keep doing it. Oh, Stuffy is the best grandkiddo. She is. She's so great. I don't know why they were freaking out about Granny. It's a little concerning. Slipper Shits is playing with a little dragon on the floor. Oh my god, speaking of which, I've been in the process of making female dragon. Like, or, uh, not female dragon. Fucking human dragon. And, uh, I'm really excited. Uh, he keeps doing this bad shit and will not stop. He's like, I was there and now I'm here. Um, what was I about to read? You know what? It's been wonderful to spend time with you. We've made some great memories. I'm sure we'll make more. Talking about Farquifa. Farquifa, what are you telling? Why are you yelling at Shitlet? Girl, what was that? What was that? There's always drama at family reunions. Oh, not her getting up and walking away. Oh, she's drunk. Shitlet is drunk. You can see it by the way she's walking. Girl! Oh my god. Flynn is acting like he had a vampire version of Pixie Sticks! You have always family drama. I mean, it's not the worst, but I am enjoying seeing everybody get to see their two new uncles, and then we're gonna take them to the bar, because why the hell not? Uh, let's see who else they can meet in the show. <gasps> He's got the spots! Why does- I, w I need to find a mod to get rid of the spots, because I'm getting kind of fucking tired of having to give my Sims orange juice all the time literally all the time um i like a family event really yeah literally literally he's got his orange juice snarl what are you doing pookie are you flirting with snarl or is she just in a flirty mood she's in a flirty mood but she was just chatting with him. I was about to say, don't flirt with Snarl. Yeah, she wasn't flirting with Snarl. She perceives Snarl as very attractive, though. Very attractive. Um, quick gossip. What about Shrock? She perceives Shrock as very attractive. Now, these are her husband's brothers, so I guess that makes sense. Um, oh, here comes Doris. Doris, where you been, Loka? Everybody thought that you weren't coming. Everyone thought that you weren't fucking coming to this, girl. Where You've got to meet Snarl. Snarl, get in here. You need to come meet Miss Doris Reaper. Because let me tell you, y'all are about to be best damn friends. Oh, thank you, Megan, for the good night. Thank you, Carrie, for the heart me. Um, oh, she looks good, right? Right? Snarl, you gotta meet her. You've got to meet her. Lottie, look at your man over here. Look at him over here just smiling and whatever. Um, here comes Doris walking in. Walking in. Thank you, Jenny. Um, I hear this whole world, so, yeah. Um, where did Doris go? Oh, don't piss yourself. Um, I fixed Snarl's needs. Where did Doris just go? Out here. 
let's go to a friendly introduction. Uh, Doris is waiting for her dish to finish cooking. <laughs> Why does it snarl want to introduce themselves to- wait, here comes Doris. You're gonna love Doris, honey! You're gonna love her. Gossip about the neighbors immediately. Um... Just gossip in general. Thank you, lovely Miss Express. Oh, they're saying bye to everybody because the party just ended. The party don't stop till I walk in. Thank you, Chantel, for the hanging lights. Thank you, lovely Miss Express. You, Cousy, and Christy. Oh my god. I love it. I love it all. Okay, now let's, um, I'm gonna just take Snarl and Shrock out to the bar for a couple of drinks, nothing crazy, and then we're gonna go over to Granny's house. Thank you, Amanda, for the lock and key. Um, not Grimace smoking in the boom boom room. Is he? Is he? I didn't see him, if he was. Um, but let's go ahead and take them to the bar. What was the first hour of the stream about? Um, well... Shrek now has two brothers, Snarl and Shrek, and we just had a little family reunion so that people could kind of, like, meet them. Um, let's actually have them go to the, the script club so that we can reset it up. Um, we'll have all three brothers go. Um, so yeah, he's two brothers. We just had a family reunion so everybody could meet them. Um, what is Snarl's orientation? Um, I believe, if you're talking about, like, like snarl is a man it's his brother the family business yeah they need to see the the family business um snarl's just a feminine man you know uh enjoy being feminine um let's um so every time there's an update i have to redo this so we have to first Buy a script club is what it says. Thank you, Piss McGee. Is your record parts working? Uh, right now, no, no scrippers are working because it's gonna make me reset this up really quick. Snarl's gonna lock eyes on unicorn parts and fall in love. She doesn't want Snarl though. She wants a uh, Shrock. Uh, let's do. Where the hell are we? Am I tripping? Where is- oh, Glimmerbrook. Sims can only purchase unowned. Oh my god, but we- How do I sell this bitch now? Um, can we sell it like this? I don't know how to fix this now. How do I sell this bitch? Okay, let me try to go into manage worlds. Did you officially change Snarl's preferences? I don't know what Snarl's preferences are. Um, go to Manage World and click on that. Okay. Thank you, Andy. But, I mean, y'all just saw me make both the sounds. So y'all have seen their entire creation so far. What all I've done and haven't done. Um, let's go to Glimmerbrook and click to sell it. Okay, great. Sell that. Now go back over here to Shrek. Thank you guys for achieving the live goal. Thank you, Unicorn Farts. He likes what he likes. I feel like he's gonna be like Farquet and just like it all. Literally, just like it all. Goal number four, Matt. I'm so lucky. So lucky. Like, I feel so lucky to be able to co sign for my brother today to get a car. And I was just like, Oh, moments like that. Like, a super special moment for me. Um, let's do... What's a funsies one? Ooh, the elephant, because it actually goes on my face. <laughs> the ones that actually go on my face are so cute. I'll make my face a little bit bigger, in case it does. Um, him and Farquette, while well, I died out. <laughs> okay, we're back here. Let's try to buy a scripper club again, which means we're going to have to pick out the scrippers. I'm gonna just wear, let them wear whatever for tonight and I'll go back in later and like design their outfits and stuff. Shrek, can you stop shitting all the time? He's trying to buy it from the toilet. He has to sample all the flavors before he decides. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Andy. Um, let's do over here. Uh, Sulsul, hey. 
So happy you're still alive. Just got home after a long day. Well, you're in luck. We've still got some time left in us. I'm streaming until around 1030. So yeah, you came at a great time. Did the update mess it up? Yes. Yes. You could select who he is attracted to. I know I could, but I don't like to do that. I like to just let the Sims kind of be attracted to or be unattracted to whoever they are. Um, I don't like to control too much of the story because then that takes some of the fun out of it for me. I like to be pleasantly surprised. And honestly, whenever my Sims don't fit the typical stereotype for whatever, I kind of like that more. Um, which I think is why I like so many green sims. <laughs> okay, new scripper club warning. Thank you, Lindsay. Thank you, Piss Vicky. Um, let's do 70,000. Confirm the transfer. Farquette would go after Shrock. Farquette would go after Snarl and Shrock. Let's be real. Um, let's, um... I have to set this scripper club up, which if you need a tutorial, here it is. You have to come in here. We need to manage our employees and we need to hire six Sims. So Zayden, you're not working here, Poppy. Sorry, that's my husband. Um, Horcrux Bear, we has an as an option. Um, she's a good one. Ariel, Princess Ariel would be good. Um, as we know, typically at far, far away from your wife. There are more female scrippers, and typically at uh, um, 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 the Black Pearl, it's more of a mix, I've noticed. Like, all of Far Far Away From Your Wife is more lady heavy, so I'll probably keep it that way. Unicorn Farts is right here! Unicorn Farts, do you want a job at Far Far Away From Your Wife? They're hiring! They're hiring! <laughs> <laughs> is cindy officially retired i think we should retire her i think she said yes unicorn farts you're hired she's got a skill level this much of schnudity and a little bit she's only got a little charisma are you joking it's unicorn farts and mixology a little bit okay excellent and then um who do we have next Let's do, um, I would hire Court or Neon, but y'all actually are about to be involved in Barrel's storyline, so I can't use y'all right now for this. Um, Farquette, I, she needs her job back here, but she's on Love Island right now, so that's gonna have to wait. Oh my god, I hit the mic. Um, Clarinet needs her job. Yeah, where the fuck is Clarinet on here? Pixarella? Girl, you ain't working here. You got five men to fuck at home. Um, let's do... I'm not loving any of these options. We could do Tafiti since she got kicked off of Love Island. Yeah. I second Millie Bear. I don't see Millie Bear on here. It changes the options every time. So let's do Tafiti for now. And then let's do, who do we have now? Not Earwax. Um, not Spark Plug, even though I think she'd do a good job. Oh my God, all, okay, Millie Bear or Merida? Merida or Millie Bear? Da -da 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 -da. She's been there twice. Dorian needs a cash. Um, Merida, Merida, Millie, Millie, Millie. I see more Millies. Millie Bear! And then for our fourth one, let's do... Honestly, this guy, Jesse, is super fine. Well, no, because Millie Bear is, like, I think somehow related to him. Um, Lola Fish is a good one. Horcrux Bear. Let's do Lola Fish. And then two more... Honestly, I'm gonna just do Farquette now because when she's at Love Island, I'll just get her to take PTO. Um, but she can come back to work a couple shifts first. Lottie, lol. Lottie's got her big job in the city. Um, let's do. Should Puss in Boots be a male scripper? Should we do Puss in Boots? Hit the first male scripper. 
Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I agree. I agree. Hell yeah, brother! Uh, what a great new uh, thing. And then who's going to work here doing the maintenance? Um, let's do... Take a shot every time I say, let's do... Uh, thank you, Gabrielle, for the hand heart. My pockets would hurt. That's what I'm saying, Yari. Uh, thank you, Gabrielle. Thank you, Unicorn Price. Thank you, Pins McGee. Let's have, um... Kronk. Kronk and... Mm, I'm not seeing great options. Let me come back into it and see if there's better options. I don't love any of these options, to be honest. I really don't. I guess Mama Bear. I guess Mama Bear is going to have to be who we have. Okay, great. I feel like I have to sneeze. <clears throat> okay. Now... We can open the club. Let's see. Manage open hours. We will close the club at 6 a.m. And the club will open at 7 p.m. Yeah, it's fine. Great. Great. Not Prince Runiver. Yeah, literally. Him as an option to hire. Let's set right here as a lap dancing spot and right there and now oh wait let me get rid of scrubber barbie's uh baby bassinet still in here sell sell um does court not feel good i didn't see her message i saw someone saying to feel better court i hope you feel better i love you i'll miss you have a good sleep um that birth shut the place down. Puss in boots! My Lanta! Thanks everyone, my hubby is feeling, feeding me mashed potatoes because my throat is so swollen. My biggest tip for if you start getting the crusty throat is to gargle fucking mouthwash a lot so that you don't get, um... What's that shit? It's not strep, but uh, the funky throat shit where it is like bacteria in your fucking throat from your snot getting stuck in your tonsils and whatever. Thrush. No, not thrush. I mean, that'll help with thrush too. But for people who have like frequent issues with their tonsils swelling up, if you uh, gargle mouthwash often or anytime you start to feel a little tickle in the back of your throat, I'm telling you, it helps a lot. Um, tonsillitis. Yes, tonsillitis. If you get tonsillitis a lot, start ga gargling fucking mouthwash. Especially, if you are if you can't get in the habit of doing mouthwash every day, okay. But especially, you start to feel a little tickle in the back of your throat, do that. Okay, puss in boots. Okay, puss in boots. Nice. Nice. Oh, look at, look at that snarl over there talking to Shrek. And then, Okay, what the hell are y'all wearing? Uh, Unicorn Farts just walked in. She's thinking- OH MY GOD LOOK WHO SHE'S THINKING ABOUT! <laughs> she just walked in thinking about Shrock! Oh my god! <laughs> Unicorn Farts said I knew it! But is she gonna- LOOK AT HIM LOOK AT HER! Oh my god! Oh, they are literally looking at each other. They are literally looking at each other. Oh my- Puss in Boots, you are really giving it all right now. Lou who? Tell me they don't hear us. <laughs> Puss in Boots is going crazy over here! Insane! Love it for a sight. Thank you, Piss McGee, for the favorite crane. Roar. No, actually. <gasps> she just waved to him! Unicorn Farts literally just waved to Shr He's coming over! <laughs> Thank you, Unicorn Farts, for the confetti! Oh, I'm super lit.
it tonight. No, literally, this is so fun. I'm having... Oh, they just glitched out. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Unicorn Price, you look like you've been dieting. Where did your thickness go? Um, Your boobies are still there, though. Not him walking by and whatever. You need to come back and talk to Unicorn Fart! What is Farquet wearing? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. What What is everybody wearing here? Oh my god, is that Grinchella Huvier? I haven't seen you since Christmas time, girl. Oh my god, her teeth! What the hell was that? <laughs> Gotta love a good glitch. Um... No, he's walking over there. That's the most close I've ever seen for Quit Wear. Puss in Boots! Puss in Boots, what are you wearing, Loco? Nothing. He's wearing nothing. Okay, I'm gonna get Shrock to... Oh, he's asleep. Let me fix his needs. I'm gonna get him to wake up, and I'm gonna get him to come sit over here and see what happens. Snarl, what are you doing? Snarl's over here gossiping on the... <gasps> Adoption notice, Mariana Brimley was adopted by the Total Drama household. Beatrix Brimley was also adopted by them. I don't know who those babies are, but okay. They're over here catching up, spending quality time together. Excellent. And then, um, wow. Puss in Boots is over. Wow, Puss in Boots and Millie Bear are really just tearing up the dance floor right now. Um, you know what? It's been wonderful to spend time with you. We've made some great memories, and I'm sure we'll make many more. Wow, that's so nice. Look at Mama Bear. Look at Mama Bear over here. Hold on. Hold on. Mama Bear, you look so adorable in your new uniform, girl. You look so cutie patootie. Who is getting a dance? I think it was, uh, Isabella over there getting a dance from... Uh, Lola Fish. Her being a janitor! <laughs> so Unicorn Farts is over here talking to people at the bar. Whenever Shrock is right there- Oh! I'm paying attention to everything. I'm paying attention to everything. Um, you gotta come talk to- You gotta introduce- Oh, he already introduced himself to Unicorn Farts. Let's come do some small talk. Let's come ask her about her day! It couldn't hurt. They are tearing up the dance floor over here. Yeah, give them some dollars. Uh, oh, oh, never mind. Unicorn Farts is busy right now. Unicorn Farts is busy right now. Someone bought a dance. Someone bought a dance. So, uh, she's a little busy right now. He's too busy cleaning. Well, he doesn't want Unicorn Farts to have to do all the cleaning at her job, okay? Um, jump scare every time. Oh my god, there goes- what's that guy? Isn't that No Titties Eyebrow? Yeah. See, I'm starting to learn all of their names. There goes No Titties Eye- Even when she's in this, look at her chest hair boobies. Look at them. Look at them. She's making that shmoney. Um, new family dynamic jokesters. Where's the wings? I guess she put her wings away for this. Uh, Tafiti is committed to not ruining Moana for us. No, actually, okay, Unicorn Farts. And she said I'd make her boobs big enough. They're about to whack you in the face, girl. Uh, yeah, I don't know where Tafiti is. Oh, wait, she's over here, just sitting. She's, girl, I'm telling you, when they start woohooing Lou, all of a sudden they get strong as fuck. Now, I don't know what, what's going on with these boobs. See, this is why I gotta assign them all outfits. I've got to assign them all outfits. Thank you, Unicorn Farts, for the confetti. Oh, she done took her clothes off. She done took them off. Um, uh, she didn't want to poke an eye out with them. Wings. Actually, look at Snarl over there dancing. I love a good old night at Far, Far Away From Your Wife. What a great old time. Is this going to be on YouTube? Yes, it will be. Oh, thank you, Lova, for the elephant trucks. I love how they, like, actually go on my face and they look like a ween. They look like a big ween. Thank you for all the elephant trucks. <laughs> I look so cute. <laughs> Should have rehired Anna. I only had certain options of who I could hire. And I haven't seen Anna around in a while. Is she still alive? That is the real question. Is she so red? Not red at the club right now. Getting a little dancey dance. Where's uh Lou? I love whenever the Love Island people just start showing up. And it's always them. It's always the Love Island people. Okay, he's newly single. David, 
because I remember Nani passed away. She's there. She's in the club, lol. Oh, where is Anna? That's not Anna. That's Dragine Vagine. Where's Anna? I don't see actual Anna in here. I think Anna may have passed away, actually. Um, let's get Shrock to come talk to Unicorn Farts now, cause why not? Let's go, uh, intri- Ask her about her day first. Ask her about her day first, nothing too crazy. Oh, I thought that was her. Oh, I assumed, yeah, up in the club. Yeah, we are up in the club tonight. Or maybe he should try, let's, uh, Order a drink for where the unicorn fart sparkle ass. Yeah, go order her a little drink. Why not? Thank you, Lizzie. Why the hell not? Acquire the handiness skill. Okay, interesting. Thank you, Anastasia, for the hand heart. I love that green mullet on Shrek. Look at her, look at him up and down. All these people hanging out over here on the couches. I just know, oh. Not to be in David! Oh my god, this is not the, I did not expect Lilo and Stitch and Moana to make a crossover like this, but here they are. Um, thank you, Anastasia and Unicorn Farts. Oh my, Shrek doing push-ups on the stage right now. Bro, what? Shrock is about to order, or he is ordering a drink for Unicorn Farts right now. I think Unicorn Farts is giving someone a day. Oh no, a slow fish. Where is you? Oh, she's up on the pole. Oh, the club is closing. Damn it! Not the club closing as soon as we're ordering Unicorn Farts a drink! Damn it. Damn it. Um, Lilo and Stitch crossover with Moana makes sense though. That is true. That is true. Is he still going to be able to give? Oh, no. Unicorn Farts was out of there. Her shift was over. She said goodbye. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and switch to Granny Wolf's household. Um, So, we can have another wolf baby tonight, which I'm super excited about. We are slowly, or kind of quickly, but a little slowly, making Granny Wolf's wolf pack. Wish my workday went that fast. <laughs> It always seems to go so fast at the swamp. Thank you, Amanda, for the team bracelets. Unicorn Farts was so close. Slow burn. I forgot about my drink. So, Friday night, at the end of my stream, Granny Wolf, I did a mini Shrekiverse part with Granny Wolf. We moved her out into her own house with Lord Farquaad, and they had a second baby. So let's go see all that. Thank you, Wolf Man's brother, for the gifts. Um, I can't wait for the next episode with the brothers. I love them. I literally love them. I feel like I almost touched the heavens. Love always finds a way. Also, thank you guys for 1,317 subscribers. So fucking many i literally screenshot it every day because i know that it's not gonna like last forever i'm just like i'm just going to enjoy this while it lasts um so lord farquaad is down here and i know that him and granny still need to get married we will at some point here is their new house um granny's out here putting something on the grill okay um they have two baby daughters they have schmurderina and they have franny quad oh she's pooping herself um, I am going to hire them a nanny really quick, just so I don't have to worry about taking care of these babies constantly. Um, let's hire a service. Let's do a nanny, please and thank you, to come help with these babies. Um, it looks like Schmurt Arena. It says, outshined. That was it. Big deal. Schmurt Arena has been doing that for years. And then it says over here, no attention left. Schmurt Arena's caregivers are so busy with her siblings. Well, she has one. Um, uh, it feels like there's no attention left for her. So, Schmurt Arena, um, is already kind of feeling like she does not like being a big sister, but, uh, sucks to suck because you're about to be a big sister again. Um, Granny's the man of the house. <laughs> oh, she is the drama. Yeah. We've got our nanny here. Awesome. Can help with these babies. 
Um, Granny Wolf, I need you and Lord Farquaad to get busy because I need another wolf baby. I need one more. Felonious for a boy? I don't even know if I want a boy. Wait, is Lou Granny's kid? No, Lou is not Granny's kid. Uh, her children, she has a son that's somewhere out in the world, but she, like, never got attached to her sons. She never even knew them, and one of them's dead. Uh, or no, both of them are dead. Oh! Okay, there, it says death by anger because that's from the Extreme Violence mod. One of them, Red Riding Hood, murdered. I don't know what happened to the other one. Wow! What happened to the other son? Was I there for that? I don't know, but she had twin boys that were both werewolves, and she never really got to know them because they grew up while she was dead. Because Granny Wolf used to be dead. And during that time that she was dead, they had already grown up and everything, so she never really got to know them. No, we didn't know. No, we missed that. Damn, I didn't know both of her sons were dead. I knew the one was. Damn. Well, and now she's uh making up lost time and having a bunch of more babies. Um, because Granny like really wanted to be a a Granny mommy. Um, poor Granny. Yeah, the twins were so creepy though. They were really fucking creepy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm so late. What did I miss? Well, you missed that Shrek now has two brothers. Um, and we're about to get Lord Farquaad pregnant. So. Very sad. From losing a friend. No. Oversensitive from premenstrual syndrome. No one seems to understand or care what Lord Farquaad is going through right now. Is he on his period? What? Mourning from losing a friend. Who died? Um... Friends in a time of loss. Granny has formed a bond with Lord the kind of that can only come from the profound grief of death. Who died? Oh my god, I'm having chest pain. I'm so scared right now. <gasps> That's why the twins were adopted. Those were the twins from Those were Duncan's twins. What mod do you use for barrel storyline? It's not a mod. It's just like imagination. This was Duncan. Okay, so from Love Island. Duncan got kicked off of Love Island because he had an actual baby mama. And he had newborn twins at home. This is the baby mama. Wait, and didn't say the total drama islands? family adopted the twins doesn't that just mean duncan now has custody of his twins what was the cause of death i have no idea i have no idea um yeah how did she die i have no idea thank you love for all the love yous thank you carrie for the heart puffs um, but yeah, I think Duncan has custody of those twins now. What the hell? Also, how does Granny Wolf hate Mohawk Doctor? How do you hate Mohawk Doctor? So yeah, Flora died. Wow. Now it makes sense, the thing from earlier about those twins being adopted. I wonder how she freaking died. Duncan said, give me back on the island. Damn, who's sad about her death? Granny and Lord Farquaad are. I guess they knew them, but, well, for Lord Farquaad is sad, but apparently Granny knew her, too. How did he know her? I don't know how they knew her, because they both knew her. Who could hate Mohawk Doctor? Um, Granny Wolf. Granny Wolf could? <laughs> apparently? Also, thank you guys for almost 200,000 likes during this live. Oh, there goes Schmarterina. Oh, wait, they didn't do it because the baby was in the room. Okay, the baby's out of the room, so y'all can do it now. Y'all can do it now. Wait, he's too sad. Okay, let's get rid of these sad midlets, please and thank you. Um, Let's try for a baby. 
maybe because my heart doctor came back to life with having to deal with the well. <laughs> he did get lucky. He did get very lucky, I think. Kelmro doesn't feel good either. No. El Rio, too sad to woohoo. Yeah. Like, you can definitely angry woohoo, but sad woohooing? Mm -mm. Absolutely not. Absolutely freaking -lutely not. That's where I draw the line. Oh, wait, the baby is in here. But it's, the baby's asleep. Do y'all woohoo if you're... Well, this might be a personal question. But, I mean, if you have a baby that's asleep, do you woohoo in the room with them? Or do you go and woohoo in the living room or something? Yes. That's what I figured that people do. Yes. Yes. That's what I figure. If your baby's, like, sleeping... The baby on the floor, different room, depending on age. I'm talking about like an under one year old, not like a toddler. I'm talking about like a baby, like an infant. Um, I've always wondered that for parents who co-sleep. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I know some people just have the crib in the room with them or, but like the baby that's in the bed with you, I guess you had to go to the living room or something. I wouldn't imagine you woohoo with them in the bed with you. I wouldn't think. I don't know. Um, yes, but can't quite focus. Yeah, I feel like that would be distracting, too. And being worried about, like, waking the baby up. Um, let's get Lord Farquaad to take a pregnasty test. We are pregnant. Oh, did I just see... I hope I didn't just see a Farweenie. I'm not sure. Yeah, our crib was in the room, but she was tiny and asleep. Yeah, I feel like if they're in their own like a different space, like in a crib or something in the same room, but they're like, asleep. he's not pregnant. No! Granny, I know you've got it. In now he's sad. He failed to conceive. It's okay. We're going to try again. It's okay. Oh my God. Y'all want to hear something amazing? I don't know if I already told y'all about this or not. I can't remember. But, um, so back when I lived in Colorado, I had this friend, Megan, and, um, she was several years older than me so like by several probably like seven or eight years older than me so i'm 24 i'll be 25 in september so she's in her early 30s now anyway so megan um had been married for a couple years already whenever i met her and she was uh and i will say is and she's like one of those people that um is not does not shy away from saying this and she does not believe this is a bad word to say but or like she'll call herself fat right and i would say that she's overweight so and whenever i say like overweight like i think she was probably between like probably around 400 pounds okay so she's a bigger person and she it's not because she just ate like shit, and it's not because she was a lazy person she literally cooked like actual dinners at home every single night um and actively tried to lose weight and things but she had really bad pcos right so megan was overweight and uh several years older than me had already been married for a few years and um her and her husband really wanted a baby okay so this is probably five years ago now so five years ago she really wanted a baby and i remember her going through the process of like buying the packs of ovulation tests and constantly taking pregnancy tests and constantly sending me like pictures of pregnancy tests and things like that being like do you see two lines and there was never two lines and sometimes there'd be like the little evaporation lines and her tracking like when she would ovulate some months she wouldn't ovulate at all and sometimes it would take her like four months to get a freaking period so it was like really frustrating for her about taking pregnancy tests and stuff because she was like really trying to get pregnant all the time um anyways it was super sad and that was five years ago. So since then, never got pregnant. And obviously, uh, that can be, like, really draining to try to get pregnant for that long. And her and her husband were just like, you know, we're just not going to have kids. And now she's in her 30s and still, you know, overweight and everything. And the doctor is basically saying, you know, you're this overweight. You're never going to have kids. She freaking announced two days ago that she is pregnant and 13 weeks pregnant. She took a pregnancy test on the day of the Super Bowl because her and her husband, she's really big into football, and um, 
she like just felt like you know maybe something was different this time but she's been done trying for a while and her and her husband were expecting it to just be negative like all the other ones for years and years they've been negative and she got a positive pregnancy test and she did a thousand more and now she's in her second trimester with a baby and i'm so excited for her i'm so freaking excited for her and i know a lot of you guys have talked about trying for babies and stuff and i hope that gives you a little bit of hope or happiness for her at least like it gave me a lot of happiness hearing about that because i was just like if anybody deserves a baby it's her thank god like that baby was prayed and wished for um who's pregnant my friend megan from when i lived in colorado i haven't seen her in years but it was amazing to see on facebook um I'm so surprised you're still on. Yay. Uh, they're wanting to actually woohoo right now, so go ahead and do it. Go ahead and woohoo. Where's the nanny? The nanny's here, but I'm about to fix the baby's needs because it's stressing me out. Um, fix it. She's sad because she wants more attention in general. She doesn't like that. Her Oh, right there. Right there. All right. All righty. Um, I'm going to make sure... They're doing it uh, vaginally so that they're, hopefully they get pregnant with a baby. Uh, wait, that's a cool basement. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Uh, got to wake up early for work tomorrow. Have a good day at work tomorrow. I'll be live for about hmm, like 15 more minutes probably. Uh, we're going to have this baby first. Here's the nanny. The nanny is tending to the children, I suppose. Um, not the breakfast nook in front of the birthday cake. Yeah. Yeah. Also thinking April, thinking Kim. Uh, yeah, that's where they're woohooing. <sighs> so excited for Megan. I thought we were seeing Reaper today after the Discord hit. Lottie, you missed my beginning speech on here. Today was going to be Reaper. But now tomorrow's going to be Reba because I did not get home until, well, it's a whole long story that I told at the beginning of this live. Uh, I know you rewatch the lives a lot on YouTube, so you'll probably fucking hear it later unless I cut it out of the YouTube video. But basically, I got home like four minutes before this live started and I had a, such a chaotic day that I was like, you know what? Today's Shrekiverse episode is going to be chaotic. Tomorrow's will be my more serious one. So that's why tomorrow is now Reba. Today was all of this so uh, are you gonna age up the girls a little mm, not this episode i'm gonna leave them all the same age i think the next time they have another baby i'll age them up again because i really like them all being like little like this right now but i'll age up our newborn to being an infant like actually i might make franny a uh toddler like schmerderina i might do that that might be good I do love the chaos, but I'm excited for a Reaper update. I'm excited for Reba tomorrow, too. We miss you so much. I miss you all. My granny calling him sculptured. She is sculpted lover. Granny cannot... Oh, it went away. Okay. Farquaad, I need you to come take a pregnancy test again. Because I would like to have a baby tonight, if possible. Be pregnant. Be pregnant not again damn okay i'll give it one more try if they're still not pregnant after this try then i guess it is time to wait a bit before explore underground tunnels oh lordy um but yeah we'll give it one more uh go really quick can you get off our bed we could do it in the shower. Let's come try for a baby in the shower. Thank you, unicorn parts. Try for uh Princess Fiona? Princess Fiona? I'm peeping out the window. What the hell was she doing here? What the fuck did she want? Hmm. Fiona finally calling on Farquaad. She's walking away all sassy, too. Bye, Fiona. Oh, it's Queen Fiona now. You're right, Tommy. You're right. Queen Fiona? <laughs> Bye, girl. Bye. Uh, oh, oh, Jesus. Her hair out. Look at Granny. Ah! Why does she walk 
like that, though. Girl, I don't know. She was delivering herself to Granny. I think I see Kronk outside, too. Oh, wait, that's not Kronk. Who the hell are you? Jacob. My bad. Let's see if Lord Farquaad's gonna be pregnant this time. I'm so excited for my brother about his car. He's been driving. He's only ever had one car. And it's been this, uh, like, 90s S10 that, like, every single thing on it is broken. And it's gotten bed bugs in it because it, it's actually a whole fucking thing. Anyways. So, therefore, his apartment also had bed bugs. And that's also a whole thing that he's having to deal with now. And I made him wash clothes, put them in a trash bag, then come out of his apartment, change his clothes outside of his apartment out of the trash bags, and then leave his other clothes. And I also made him spray his shoes before he got in my car. Not that I'm that scared of bed bugs, because I'm gonna be honest with you, working EMS, I went in people's houses with bed bugs all the time, and I never got bed bugs myself. But I still wanted to make sure I was about to get bed bugs in my car. Um, so now while they're his apartment complex. He didn't get the bed bugs first, if it makes you feel better. Um, his apartment is clean, but his neighbor's apartment got bed bugs, and then they started coming in through the ceiling, and now they're having to the apartment complex tomorrow. Oh, we're eating for two! He's so cute. Pre he is so cute, Preggers! He is so adorable as a little pregnant Farquad. His bump under the rub sash. Let's go ahead and have this baby, shall we? Let me fix his needs. Um, mm -mm. We need to make it to where he can have it now. Let's see. Childbirth. Give birth immediately. To the bed to pop the baby out. Conceived in the shower. Shit out in the bed. Perfection to me. Um, I think what? Oh, the baby's pooping in their sleep. Nene, we need our baby change. Wolverine. Glad you get to be safe now in the Sims world. Yeah, me too. Also, thank you, Piss McGee, for the elephant trunk. Thank you, Chantel, for the garland headpiece. Uh, Wolverina. Oh, oh my god, Schmurderina is feisty. She just kicked the shit out of the nanny. Schmurderina, that was not nice, girl. Um, Lord Farquaad is having to take his pregnant ass down here to tell Granny that he needs her help. Granny, we need you to come deliver this baby, please. Granny's like, okay, I've got my bathing suit on. I'm coming right now. Oh, wait, the nanny said, okay, I've got to go. 184 simoleons has been charged. Oh, my God. Please don't leave us now. Whatever, it'll be fine. I'll just keep fixing their needs for now. And then Granny and Lord Farquaad can tend to their children afterwards. Great, they're both playful right now, too. Thank you, Cassie, for the friendship necklace. Let's have the baby. Uh, uh, uh. They need a butler. Yeah, I might have to get a butler. Look how crazy these kids are. They're a little wolf pack. Put your bathing suit on. Time to poop out a baby. The bump. You know, he's got a very cute bump. Very cute bump. Push it out. Push the baby out. Made it for a while. How much have I missed? I'm not gonna lie. You've missed a lot. Um, it's the grand finale right now. A small litter. Y'all start sending your baby names. Uh, 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 uh. Felony. <laughs> Those nannies run out. Yeah. Nibbles, baby bonnet, Bonnie. I do love Bonnie. I know someone who just named their baby Bonnie too. Fartifa? <laughs> bonnet. Do we like Bonnie or Bonnet better? Grilled cheese. Is there a toddler bed? Mm, I don't know. It's a girl. Are we surprised? I didn't change it to a girl, by the way. It just was a girl. Bonnet, Bonnie, Bonnie, Bonnet, Bonnet, Bonnie, Bonnie, Granite. Okay, Bonnie, Bonnie, Bonnet, Bon, Bonnie, Bonnie, Bonnie. Okay, Bonnie, Bonnie Farquad. Here she comes. I'm so excited for their little side series, the Wolf Lorettes, the Granny Wolf Lorettes. I can't call them anything but the Fark Tots. I love that too. 
There's some, Granny says she needs a nap after that. Go ahead, Granny. Do what you're- Oh, the baby's coming. <gasps> this one has black hair! Wow! This one doesn't look exactly like Granny! Well, we'll see their fit. Is this about to be a far quad looking baby? His body bounced back with the quickness because he's a man. So we've got Schmurderina. We've got Franny. Franny is so freaking cute. She's literally a little granny. Um, and now we've got... Bo Wait, why is Bonnie a whole toddler? Oh no, just an infant. <gasps> Bonnie is a werewolf. So, so far, Schmurderina is the only one that isn't... She's a dormant wolf. So she could be awakened as a wolf later, but the only like straight up werewolves, excuse me, are Franny and Bonnet. Um, oh, she looks like Granny though in the face, not Farquad. Oh, so cute. Let's put her in her everyday wear and then we gotta get her jammies with her bonnet. Um, I like them all to have kind of like little old lady looking outfits, kind of. Um, mm, we'll do that. It's fine. I like her little wolf things. And then her sleepwear, we gotta have her bonnet. Are Schmurderina and Franny twins? No, they're not. Oh, wait. We need something like this, I guess. Well, I kind of like the blue theme for her. I guess like purple. Let's get her little bonnet on. Obviously, with her navy. Well, this isn't exactly a bonnet. It, it, would you still call this a bonnet? Or are these, do these have a different name? Whenever she's a toddler, she'll be able to have a bonnet like, um how Schmurderina does. I came back just in time for a new baby. That's a bonnet. Okay. Thank you, Kuzis. Thank you, uh, Book Dragon Lady. Um, when did Franny happen then? I must have missed that episode. That was Friday night. Friday night, we had a little detour into Granny's household, but it's on YouTube if you missed it. Granny makes such pretty babies. Um, I'm a month behind on YouTube videos, but still want to pop in and say hi. Hey! I recommend watching them at, like, you can speed up the YouTube videos if you want to watch them faster. So, we have Schmurderina, we have Franny, and we have Bonnie. So cute! So freaking cute. She, they're really pretty. All of these babies are really freaking pretty. These two look exactly the same in the face, almost. They've just got kind of, she's more olive-y, skin-toned, with darker, yeah, like, eyebrows and stuff. Um, I'm not gonna age up any of the babies to, like, full adultness yet. We're gonna leave it a surprise for whenever they're older. Um, but I will age up Franny to a toddler so that her and, uh... Bonnet don't look exactly the same. <gasps> First of all, let's do her trait. Her trait is independent. Franny is so cute! Oh my god! Oh my god! So cutie patootie! Oh my, Granny makes some adorable babies. Obviously, she needs her Granny bonnet um, for her sleepwear. To match her new sleepwear. So freaking cute. It's a bunch of cute colors. And then her everyday wear. I'm passing y'all. I tried so hard to stay awake the past hour. Oh, okay, I'm gonna be ending the live here in a couple minutes after I get done with this. Um, good night, Tasha. Let's put her in a little outfit. She is so freaking cute. Oh, is this Granny's baby? Yes, it's one of them. So cute. So freaking adorable. I love her girls. Honestly, Schmurderina looks the most like Farquaad right now. Thank you, Unicorn Parts. Um, 
over there all so freaking precious. I love them. I heard girls. I heard girls. Okay. Uh, after Granny's bo boys, I kind of lost hope in her genetics, but the girls are so stinking cute. Right? Right? I'm going to go ahead and end the live here. Um, I had so much fun tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, chaotic episode. Uh, this was a fun one, I think. I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys had fun. Uh, the unicorn parts. We'll be chatting in the Discord after this per usual. If you feel like talking about the episode. Talking about the Shrek brothers. Um, and I will see you guys again tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern time, for another Shrekiverse episode. I love you. Good night.